The June primaries are just three weeks away, and in those primaries, Republicans and Democrats in Maine will choose their nominees for governor. Mary Mayhew is one of the Republicans running for governor. She is a former lobbyist who ran the Department of Health and Human Services for Governor Paul LePage, and she's with us tonight on 207. Thanks for coming in. Good to have you here. Hey, thanks for having me. Let's talk uh, first about a, a serious topic. Everyone knows what happened last week in Santa Fe, Texas. Another student going into another school. Ten people dead by the time it was over, shot and killed. These kinds of things are, have lost their ability to shock us now. They've become so commonplace. As governor, what steps would you take to try to reduce the possibility of a mass shooting happening in Maine? We've got to protect our children. We need to put school resource officers in our schools. We need to look at all possible resources that help to protect our children, making sure that our teachers are trained, but that needs to be a priority. We need to make sure that our law enforcement have the resources that they need as well. Well, what would you change specifically from what we're doing or not doing now? Well, we haven't made that a priority in this state. In fact, too, too often we've been spending money like it's been water uh, in so many other areas, and we haven't focused on making sure that our schools have the resources necessary to hire school resource officers to make sure that local law enforcement has the resources that they need to protect our children. So what specifically are you saying? Police, a police officer in every school all the time? I'm saying that we need to work with the schools to make sure that they have the individuals who are properly trained within their schools. Now, that may be different for each school district, but the state needs to step up and to provide those resources. Should teachers be armed? We've got great models uh, in other states that we need to take a look at, but if a teacher wants to be armed and is pro uh, proper, uh, appropriately trained, we need to have them in the school. Speaking of schools, let's talk about education. The state years ago committed to paying 55% of education, K through 12. Never really fulfilled that promise, which left a lot of towns and cities to make up that difference. So we have a viewer question. Margo wants to know whether you have a plan to help fund schools without towns having to raise right. property taxes. But let's talk about what's going on in our schools. And are we seeing the kind of accountability for the money that's being spent? Today, we spend in the top tier per student in the country. Are we seeing that level of high quality results? No. So we need to take a look at maximizing our resources to make sure that our kids are getting a high quality education. There's a great deal of inefficient spending today in our educational system. I want to make sure that the money is being spent in the classroom for our kids and producing great results. We just put $160 million in additional funding to the schools. I did not hear to produce higher results in test scores around reading, uh, math, graduation rates. We need to increase the transparency and the accountability around how our funding is being used in our school system. This is a question we get a lot, proficiency-based diplomas. How do you feel about that? Uh, look, I, I think it should be repealed. There is so much noise today in the educational system focused on blurring the distinctions between outcomes and strategies. At the end of the day, we need to have objective measures of success related to graduation rates, math scores, reading scores, English scores, and we need to look at whether or not what we're doing in the classroom is producing good results. You said that one of your goals is eventually eliminating the state income tax. In 2016, more than 20 cents of every dollar that the state spent came from that income tax. So you get rid of the, the income tax, you're going to have to make deep cuts in services. What services would you eliminate or reduce? I oversaw the state's largest agency. It was a third of the state budget. There, we have, our population has not changed in the last 15, 20 years, but the spending has increased by over a billion dollar state spending. There are programs today that government shouldn't be running. Name them. Uh, them. I, I have. Them I, put I put $140 right million dollars worth of cuts in DHHS in the budget, in the last budget that I submitted. Trust me when I tell you, your money is not being well spent, and it is the taxpayer's money. I know that at the end of the day, people who earn their money will always spend it better. We Those cuts have already that you mentioned, those cuts are already on the books, so you'd have to make more cuts. In effect, cut 20% no, of the budget. No, actually, those cuts are not on the books. They, the, the legislature rejected all of those cuts. We don't have an issue about a lack of money. We have a problem with setting appropriate priorities. And here's the other thing. At the end of the day, what most people need is a good paying job. 
And when you grow government, you take away the one thing that matters most, and that's a vibrant economy with good paying jobs. We know that today retirees are leaving our state because of the tax burden. I want retirees to come back home. And as a parent of two boys, I want them to be able to stay in this state and have great opportunities. And today, too many young people leave our state for other opportunities. All right, we're gonna have to let that be the last word. Mary Mayhew, Republican candidate for governor. Thanks for coming in, we appreciate you being here. Thanks for having me. And we'll be back with more of 207 in just a moment.